Hey, just want to let you guys know it's past midnight and um, I'm being hunted by somebody because the iPhone 7 Plus will not hard reset. So I got a gun on me and everything, but um, and I got a lot of bullets in, in the uh, clip. In fact, if a cop even pulls me over at this point, I'm probably just going to blow his fucking brains out out of paranoia because I don't even give a shit. Anyways, I shouldn't say that, but the point of the story is this. Um, I am for sure being hunted right now. Something told me about an hour ago to that they were that they were gonna that they had made up their mind about an hour ago uh, that they were going to go ahead and track my location. And so, um, since it's late and everything, and I'm driving across the country, they kind of want to watch me right now. So the iPhone 7 Plus won't hard reset. It, it always hard resets. Um, the fucking radar detector started buzzing as soon as I made this video. I'm making it again, but it's my nerves are kind of wrecked from that. It just post-traumatic stress or something, maybe. I don't know. But I'm pissed off. But either way, um, just had to get through this shit and gut it out. But here's the thing. Um, for sure, somebody's hunting me right now because I don't... Um, because I don't, um, my, my phone never has that problem. So there's no reason, there's no other reason. I mean, it's just obvious the reason, you know? So I just want to let y'all know. Yeah, it's, I'm several hours away from home. It's past midnight. My phone all of a sudden won't hard reset. I'm just out here on roads like, you know, that movie Nocturnal Animals. Somebody's probably just going to try to fucking... I don't know. They may not know I have a gun on me all the time. I, mean, I don't even go to fucking 7-Eleven without a fucking gun on me. I went into the gas station and forgot to bring my gun earlier. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing in here without my fucking gun? I just always have the motherfucker on me. And I ain't going nowhere with nobody. I've seen how these Mexican drug cartels, you can just walk up to some motherfucker on the street and just tell him, come with us. Motherfucker I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you better know for sure I'm gonna pull this bitch out and start firing on your stupid little ass if you even try to touch my fucking ass because I'm halfway just about to do that anyways you know what I mean to the average person I fucking walk across it ain't nothing special about you to make me want to fucking not kill your fucking ass for nothing in fact just looking at you if you look me in my fucking eyes I want to kill you fucking ass it's fucking crazy okay but the truth of the matter is that um it's, you know, I'm several hours away from home. I'm driving across country in the middle of the night. They're trying to track me down and hunt me down and try to fuck with me or maybe try to kill me. I don't know what the fuck they think they're going to do. I just don't, I don't know how impervious they realize I am to this shit right now. Just, here's, here's a piece of advice to you, okay? When you talk about me, do so like it's a fucking, like, <laughs> do so like it's a rose petal in your hand and you're handing it to someone gently. You don't want to scratch it. You don't want to treat it anything but delicately because it might break. And you you want to be real careful about how you even speak about my fucking ass. Because the truth of the matter is you ain't never going to fucking kill me. I promise you, you won't. I know what you're going to do before you know it. That's the tri That's the tripped out part of it. And so it's like... I'm so intuitive. It's in my family and stuff and some of the fucking stories you wouldn't really believe. But then I've got these high-ranking mafia people on one side and on the other side i got people that are just like psychic and can know when somebody's in danger and travel across the country before there was even phones and weird shit like that. Okay, so I, I mean, and plus the shit that I've done to survive, it's just unreal. Okay? I just, I just want to give you a piece of advice, man. It's like, do not... Do not even, like, don't even talk about it, because I'll find out eventually. You won't get around to doing nothing to me ever. And even going to jail, I, I can see it coming now. I Just everything I see coming. It's like I turn off my lights in the middle of the night, turn into my phone and said, here they come, guys. Like, you were a fucking little kid watching a scary movie, and I want to keep you from fucking pissing your pants like I'm a Superman or something. Like I'm fucking, I'm immortal, Jesus. What, do you not realize this shit? I'm sorry. I didn't make the fucking rules. I feel like a freak, honestly. I feel like a freak, okay? I feel like one of the X-Men, you know, and they're like, they, they always feel like freaks, you know? 
It's actually how it feels. You don't feel great. And I don't even feel like that's true. I just think that I've learned about the martial arts and the combat martial arts and the the mentality and the, you know, and the intuition and and, t- and tuning into it through experiences has just got me so good at it. You know, you just have turned me into this thing that's like, man, you turned me into something else, man. And so either way, the point of the story is that um, they, they, um, the, the phone won't hard reset, okay? Won't, 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 this never happens. I'm driving across the country, driving out in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, past midnight, somebody decides to be a creep. What a fucking surprise. I mean, look at this whole Bitcoin fucking piece of shit. That's really the whole reason why the fucking hacking is so fucking far out of control. Now we got VPN and shit. They've got a whole fucking currency set up to get motherfuckers hacking 256-bit encryption systems. Do you fucking understand that? In fact, I gotta get back. I gotta publish this shit and start hard resetting again because I'm being watched right now. I can't fucking do this. Look, somebody stopped on the side of the road over there with their fucking headlights on. Whatever, I ought to shoot at that motherfucker while I'm driving by his ass. Stupid ass. No, that's a fucking train. Anyways, or that's a car driving on railroad tracks? Let me see. Hold on. No, that's somebody driving on a service road. They got their hazard lights on and they're still driving all slow. Anyways, uh, I don't know what the fuck's all going on out here right now, but it's just, it's going down. It's going down again, and I am so loving it. I just wish that, I wish that y'all would just kind of keep doing this in a way, but really, I gotta grow up. I can't, I can't just keep playing with it and shit, because I gotta let y'all just put you on notice, have it come to an end, you know, Uh, rather than try to provoke you to keep it going, because it's fun, because it's just irresponsible, and gets me involved in a bunch of shit, and, you know, I would rather just... I would rather just not be engaged with it and not have the most fun in my entire life because it is whenever people try to kill me. I can't explain it. It's like, God, it's like something else, man. I saw my life flash before my eyes, and then I saw all these, like, I saw everybody who was coming for me, and there were all these little lights, and then they all turned red like they were about to kill me, and, like, the music I was listening to was all talking about what I was going through at that moment, and it was just, like, the biggest rush ever. But then it got scary as fuck whenever they actually got in the house and I was sitting there with a fucking pellet gun and then my glasses fell off my head and fucking, it was just, oh man. When my glasses fell off my head, I was really tripping out. But I was tripping out when I sat there and fucking watched them come in the house and sat there and listened to them talk, you know, because, because I... It was just a long story, but somebody, people thought I was crazy. They didn't believe what was going on. They ended up snatching my gun away from me. And uh, some of those people, I think, are part of the central, well, they are part of the central bank. And I heard them in there talking about killing me and shit. I haven't figured out what the hell that even meant yet or who they were talking about or if I'm being paranoid because I know so much about the central banks and I've had so many experiences with this shit that's just so far beyond anything that anyone else on the face of the earth has experienced. I mean, they literally crashed YouTube because I've stumbled across a fucking... This is fucking bullshit. This is the kind of shit that... I, that's... Oh, I'm gonna create something that's gonna destroy these people. Okay? I swear to fucking God. You're not gonna put that shit in my fucking face, bitch. I'm gonna put some shit in your fucking face. You understand that? It's called the disassembling of all your shit... And then there's going to be nothing left to protect you. And all the people who went about the task of disassembling it, they fucking have a lot of money and they hate you. So now you've got a big problem. Especially with me, because you're going to have a hard time stopping me and and making my fucking heartbeat stop between now and then. Which I promise you, there's nothing on the face of this earth that you can do to me or anyone else around me that's going to stop me or make me give up before I get around to that. And when I do, if I find out shit that I don't like, then it's going to be real, real ugly. And you're going to wish you got a bullet in the head. For real. That would be really, really nice of me. 
you know what I mean? To just to just let you go so easy like that. But it won't be it won't be that way. You know? And uh, that's because the it's cause yes, you believe in laws on the earth, but the universe, as I understand it, it doesn't respect law much at all. And so I know that. I've been exposed to that, and that's how I view life because I see it in a grander scale on a much different level than you do. And relatively speaking, I might see things in a different way than you do. I might look at it way different just to, you know, do some really horrible shit to your ass. So, anyways, just something to think about. Um, I don't know what the fuck I might do to you, but it's going to be like... uh, the wrath of God, 